Hi, I'm Grant and here is my tip number three for shooting better video from my 20 plus years of looking through the viewfinder. Tip number three, roll on it. And by that I mean shoot more than you intended to. Shoot something while you're waiting for the main part of your whatever it is you're shooting to happen. Shoot some of the, the weather coming in or uh, scenic or some behind the scenes. Why? You'll just about always get something that you didn't plan on shooting and it'll end up in your finished video. Unless you're shooting a scripted ad or a drama, the light, the mood, the weather, everything changes. Even in a scripted ad or a drama, the actor's mood or, or their takes will change each time. So roll on it. As an example of this, I've been shooting on a first home buyers TV show here in New Zealand. And I have also been using my drone on this show to shoot aerial views of the houses, the properties that these people were looking at. When the drone's in the air, I often just leave the camera rolling because it's harder to start and stop it. And then while I'm repositioning the camera, it's still rolling. And these repositioning moves have ended up in the opening titles of the TV show. Another example of this is I've shot a couple of episodes for a TV show called Border Security here in New Zealand which is following the border security guards around a local airport. One of the production company's main briefs to me before each shoot was once I start rolling on a scene, never button off. Even when I'm repositioning for a better shot or moving for a better angle, keep the camera rolling. And the reason for this is often some of the best audio grabs happen while you're repositioning and then you can cover that later with a wide or a non-sync type shot. So roll on it. So be ready to roll and roll on it. And by this I don't mean just walking around the whole time with your camera rolling, but be prepared or perhaps shoot a scenic while you're having a break or a time lapse while you're having a, a cup of coffee. Shoot the weather, shoot some behind the scenes. You never know when these shots will get used and they might just get you out of a sticky position when editing. Nowadays, discs or cards for your camera are cheap, batteries are fantastic, so now you have access to a lot of storage time and a lot of shooting time with your camera. Another example, countless times driving to a job, we've stopped on the side of the road and shot a, scen a random scenic and that has ended up in the finished video. So be prepared to shoot something you didn't plan on and this will always give you better options in editing and that is a fantastic thing. So that's it, my top tip number three, roll on it. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for shooting tip number four coming up.